This is the big fountain. It's also musical. The musical fountain uses DMX dimmers to control the pumps. This is a four channel DMX dimmer. We will show you how these work shortly. Each dimmer can control four pumps, one on each channel. One, two, three, four. The fountain lights are controlled in the same way, but they have three channel dimmers. One channel for each colour, red, blue and green. First of all, I need to explain exactly what a DMX dimmer can actually do. In the pool further out there, we have a pump. Let's switch it on. As you'd expect, switch it on, pump runs to its maximum, switch it off, pump stops. Maximum. Nothing. If, however, we now use this dimmer switch, watch what happens. The more I turn the dimmer switch round, the faster the pump runs, the higher the water goes. Turn it down, speed goes down, water goes down. Turn it up. Pump runs faster, water goes higher. And likewise, I can... See all day doing this. My point being that the DMX dimmer literally does this. Obviously I'm doing it by hand which is mechanical but the DMX dimmer has four channels and each one can do this. However, it's not quite as easy as it appears to be. To do this, you have to have a pump that has an asynchronous motor. The ones I use obviously do. If you have a pump that is not asynchronous, then it will not do this. You cannot vary its height. It will either be on or off. Now, hopefully you understand what a DMX dimmer can do. But obviously I'm turning this by hand. But the DMX dimmer is actually told by computer what to do on each of the four channels. This is one of the lights that goes in the fountain. This is what is known as an RGB LED. RGB quite simply stands for red, green and blue. Each LED is one watt. And as there are 12 LEDs, that means that this is a 12 watt LED fixture. This one is designed to go underwater. As this is a fountain light, going underwater is not a problem. As it's RGB, that means by mixing the intensity of the colours, means you can get almost any colour you like. My current favourite has to be this violet colour. However, the fountain actually uses these. These are DMX dimmers. DMX comes in this side and the output for the light is this side. Again, it is controlled from the computer. The computer tells it what colour and what intensity each light should be. There are four of these operating the lights in the fountain. Each one of these operates two of these. The DMX signal for the DMX dimmers comes from a computer which has special software called Access. Access plays the music as well as telling the pumps and lights what to do and also when to do it via DMX. Here is our computer with its custom written version of Access. The black shapes are the pumps. 
the coloured shapes are the lights. Across to the right is the running order. Below that is the track being run. You can see it is working now. Sadly, Eric Altwater, the creator of Access, passed away in 2017. see the DMX dimmers all have cables going off to the pumps but you may be asking once they've left here what happens at the pumps let's go and have a look once the pump cables leave the DMX dimmers they come over to here and they meet the pumps on these junction boxes I'll show you shortly how I made them I thought I would show you how I calculated where to put the glands. We already know that the box is 15 centimetres long. There we are, got a whole bunch of lines already. So you think for four glands, not counting them on the side, for four glands, if you've got 15 centimetres there, you divide 15 by four. If you divide 15 by four, it comes out at 3.75. As 0.75 is a bit awkward, let's say 3.5, 3.5. Right, so if we go 3.5 centimetres, draw a line. The next one will be at 7, draw a line. Let's draw them bigger. So the next one at 7, the next one will be at 10.5. And, and the next one will be at 14. Well, hang on, that can't be right because you can clearly see here. This one is too, way too close to the edge of the box. This one's okay, and that one's okay, and that one's okay, but this one, not. But I divided it by four. The answer is you should actually divide it by one more than what you actually require, as I've done here. One, two, three, four. These ones, rather handily, because it's 15 centimeters across. Divide 15 by 5, that's the number you want, and one more, 4 and 1 is 5. So divide 15 by 5 is 3, and these ones are 3 centimetres apart, that's centre to centre. Now you've seen how it's done, I've got to make some more. Here's, Here's the, the big, big fountain, fountain in daylight, thanks, thanks for watching. watching.